I think I tasted alcohol when I was about 14 or 15. Mm, 12, I think. I think I was 15. 15 years, yeah. I was like 14. I take it from my parents and I get really drunk. It was at a party and almost everyone drank. My dad made me try some whiskey. He likes whiskey. Maybe because friends does or they think it's exciting or yeah, something like that. I think we're friends, most. Friends, I think. Friends? I think uh, friends. Uh, friends and parents. And what they do and what they say and how they drink. I don't know, but my friends do it, so I do it as well. It's so normal, it's like, it's not a big deal. Yeah, it's just something that you want to try out, because when you're a 15 or 16 year old, and people come and say, oh, it's so awesome, come and try it, well, then it's peer pressure, and uh, you fall for it. I don't drink, so they don't drink so much, I think. I don't think uh, I'm going <laughs> to affect my children uh, with my alcoholic um, habits. I think when, when the parents drink, that also the children drink more. I've grown up with parents drinking alcohol on the weekends and I think that it's very common so it's like you're supposed to do it. My dad drinks a few in one day. Many. All the days. It, it doesn't bother me but it's not good for his health. My parents drink a little pretty much every day in the evening because they think it's good. It's okay, but sometimes we have economic problems at home, and then they buy much alcohol, and I think they should take that money to food. It's quite too easy to get alcohol when you're, you're 15 years old. I had a father who gave me and my older brother too and some older friends. I have um, um, older brothers, so um, in my case. <laughs> Uh, my brother, brothers, uh, bought uh, the beer to me. My father have some alcohol in the our cellar, and we took some. I got it from my parents because they thought it was a good thing. Yeah. 
from older friends. And their brothers or sisters, perhaps. Yeah. They're, they're going to fix the, yeah. the alcohol to them, I think. Maybe the parents, I don't know. They take it from the parents when they don't look, <laughs> I think. Let's say, I, I know that some people, if they get a little money extra, they will go and, and buy it for them. Mm. I think from someone's brother, or cousin, a relative. I think that their parents buy them alcohol. It's many people who um, buy alcohol from other countries, so it's cheaper, and sell it here for much more money. In France or somewhere there, you drink regularly every day. Maybe it's not so glorified to be drunk. You drink, but not to be drunk. But in Sweden, you drink because you have, want to be drunk. That is the difference, I think. One time a week, perhaps, a beer, Friday night. New Year's Eve, um, social gatherings like that, um, but maybe just, uh, say, five times a year, maybe. Mostly on Saturdays, but not so very often, maybe once or twice in a month. I think very many people here in Sweden, they don't drink anything during the week. But when it comes to the weekend, everybody's like, oh, now it's the weekend, we have to celebrate. And then they drink a lot instead. Uh, most of them drink too much, and um, that's the problem, I think, when, when they get drunk. So. If they are drinking too much, as everyone who drinks too much, it's the same problem, so of course you can't do what you have to do. Of course, I have seen others who drank too much and started hitting each other. You can be so drunk that you go out in the winter with no clothes on or want to sleep in the snow. People can take advantage of you. It can turn bad. You must be 20 if you can buy. So, yeah. But you can drink when you're 80. It's very strange. It's very, very strange. I think the laws are good, but uh, they are not followed as they would. Mm -hmm. well, the laws have to be stricter, maybe harder. Because I think many parents uh, buy alcohol for their young ones. I don't think that they are thinking about the laws or knowing what the law is.
in some way it's successful because it's much harder to get liquor but it's also glorified alcohol more I think. I think it's good that there's only one place you can buy alcohol in Sweden uh, because it's controlled. Well, it's good, but why can you serve in the military or vote before you can buy something? I think that they would have been good if people would actually follow them. people who do that and I have also uh, in Germany and Denmark but I don't do anymore. Sometimes I buy uh, in other, other countries. Yeah. Many people go to Denmark just because they want to buy or to Germany just because and they fill all the, the whole car with the beer and the wine. I have never done that. Uh, but of course if I am in Denmark on holiday or something maybe we can buy something. Because it was cheaper, a lot cheaper. Yeah. <clears throat> so that's why. On a longer term, I think it's the same. I don't know really. I have a feeling that it's uh, decreasing. Here in Sweden and in northern countries, I think it's increasing. But I don't know the rest. I think it's maybe the same as it has been. I don't know. But that's my thought. But I hope that our daughter, who's uh, 12 now, we, we talk a lot about uh, how there is um, a limit for 18 years old to drink. Um, we know that we can't control her what she do, but I hope that she waits at least a couple of years. <laughs> I think I'm going to start when I'm 18, but I'm going to wait until then. Thank you.